All right, we're going to start by clicking on the O2 level right here. And I'm going to zoom in and we're going to go to the floor. So we'll click on floor. These are all the options you have for floor. We just want four inch concrete. That's plenty. It'd be nice to get six inches, but you don't need it. Four inches does just fine. And we're going to make a rectangle. We do not want to offset it. Okay, well, it's saying, hey, you're going to offset this four inches. We don't want it offset. We want it no offset. So that's zero. This is going to be the big part. I'm going to use the rectangle command. Come over here to the corner and come out. And I want it to come out about eight feet. That would be plenty. I did it wrong on purpose because I'm just going to click on the blue, make it, or click on the line, make it blue, move it in. There's our eight foot. No offset, zero. Hit the green check mark. Okay. And you do not want to attach for right now. I'm going to go to a 3D view. And there we go. There's the first part. We need two more steps to get in. Two more steps, which is not difficult. So let's go back to the O2. We're just going to repeat this process over and over. It's up to you. I'm not going to give you, I, all you have to have is make sure it's only up, up four inches. And then we should have it come out at least 12. So let's do another floor, same type of floor, but this time we are going to offset it zero space four, because this is the second of three that we're going to do. Grab another rectangle. I'm going to come like roughly, uh, we'll make it symmetrical. We'll have it go from here, okay, to there roughly, and we're just going to have this come out. Oh, I'm thinking two feet is good. All right, more than enough. Actually, it's probably going to be too much. Let's go one foot six. Okay, and um, that's actually looks like it is kind of off a little bit, so we'll move this over, try to get it the same. Okay, good enough for today. We should dimension that, but we're not going to. All right, click off, click off of there, don't attach. Go to a 3D view. Now, this should have been offset four. For some reason, it didn't offset four. It's buried in there. So there, we're just going to move it up. So zero, four. We've got one last step. This is still too big of a step to get in the house. So we've got, you just, you're going to start to trip and fall. When you do one more and go back to the O2 level, and you really don't have to look at it every time. I'm just kind of been showing you. And we're going to do one more floor. This time, I want to make sure that it does offset. Offset eight inches. Okay, it looks like it's stuck. And now we're just going to have a little step right here that goes on each side of the door. And I'm going to have that come out one foot. Click the check mark. Go to the 3D view. There you go. One, two, three. Now that I'm looking at that, this probably needs to come out a little bit more so we don't have enough room to put our foot there. So I'm going to click on edit. Like we do edit the roof, we're going to edit the boundary. And as I'm starting to look at that, I'm like, well, I should probably check to see how much that is. We'll just move it out two foot six. Okay. Click the check mark. You don't need to delete. Never delete. Always modify. And there we go. We've got three little steps coming up. This doesn't have to wait. It could be we could do it a different way. But for here, we're just learning how to create steps using floors. All right. That looks pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify our roof. So we're going to go back to the roof level. And we should see our roof. And I'm going to click on the roof and we are going to edit the footprint. Really simple. However you want to do this. I'm going to pull it out too far because I love to remind you guys that the align command is the greatest command. Align to here, here. However you want to get to that point, I don't care. That's all you need to do. Remember in the options bar, we don't have this. This is the gable end. So we're going to hit the check mark and we got a beautiful gable. We've got this overhang. Okay. And that overhang is going to have to be supported by a column. So the only thing that we have to do now is go back and put some columns in. On yours, it's very difficult. You're going to have to really pay attention here. You need an architectural column. Your column, you don't have it like this. You have to click the down arrow. And you have to click here, find architectural. You will not find what you're looking for in structural. All right, column architectural. I'm going to look at all these different beams. We could use a four by four would be great. I'm going to use a six by six. And I'm just going to randomly place them over here because I love to demonstrate my favorite command, the align command. Align two here, this. Align two here, this. If you get your lined up perfectly, great. Align two here to this. Align two here, that. There. I missed it. Align two here, this. There we go. 
Go to a 3D view. We're about done. I'm going to click on here, just like we did to the walls, attach to the roof. But the only thing that happens is it doesn't give you a maximum intersection. So right down here, you say, hey, give me the maximum intersection, and it cuts it to fit. This one here, I'm going to click on this one here, column. Okay, and we're going to attach. And I could change this to maximum intersection right here if I, did, if I thought about it. Boom, buries it in there. There we go. There's our little overhang porch, all set, ready to go. Take a screenshot, turn that in. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. You are out of here. Oh, I even got my video done. That was like fantastic. All right, so that's all you got to do for today. Um, unless you haven't turned your south and east view in, then you're going to get like um, me trying to help you. The Weagle, I need to help you a little bit. And then a couple of the other ones, I'm going to bring you into another room. Once you turn that in, do not leave without saying 